storytelling about how pharmacy companies use time value of money. Two halves. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Pharmaville, there were two rival pharmaceutical companies, Medicure Inc. and BioHeal Pharmaceuticals. Both companies were dedicated to developing life-saving drugs and innovative medical solutions, but they had different approaches when it came to financial management. Medicure Inc. was led by Mr. Robert Finley, a seasoned businessman known for his conservative financial strategies. On the other hand, BioHeal Pharmaceuticals was headed by Dr. Emily Turner, a brilliant scientist who was eager to take calculated risks to push the boundaries of medical research. One sunny morning, the executives of both companies gathered for a high-stakes meeting. The government had announced a new initiative to develop a groundbreaking drug for a rare and deadly disease, promising a substantial grant to the company that could deliver the cure within the next five years. Dr. Emily Turner was intrigued by the challenge and believed her team could develop the drug quickly. She proposed an aggressive research plan that required significant upfront investments. She argued that the potential grant and future profits from the drug would outweigh the initial costs. Meanwhile, Mr. Robert Finley was more cautious. He understood the concept of the time value of money, which states that money today is worth more than the same amount in the future due to its earning potential. He knew that if Medicare Inc. invested heavily in the research and development now, it would have an impact on their cash flow and profits in the short term. To illustrate his point, Mr. Finley presented two scenarios to the board. In the first scenario, he proposed a more moderate research plan, spreading out the investment over the five-year period. This way, the company would have a steady cash flow and could continue funding other projects. In the second scenario, he suggested using the time value of money concept. By calculating the present value of the potential future grant and expected profits from the drug, he demonstrated that the overall value of the investment would be greater if they focused on other projects in the short term and invested later, once the value of money was taken into account. The board members were divided between the two approaches. Some were swayed by Dr. Turner's passion and the potential for a breakthrough drug, while others admired Mr. Finley's prudence and long-term vision. In the end, after much debate, they decided to follow a hybrid strategy. They would invest a portion of their funds in the research and development of the drug to get started, but they would also diversify their investments to ensure steady returns on other ongoing projects. As time went on, BioHeal Pharmaceuticals pursued its ambitious plan, but they faced cash flow issues due to the heavy upfront investments. In contrast, Medicare Inc. saw steady growth in its other projects and benefited from the time value of money, allowing them to invest wisely when the time was right. Ultimately, after five years of hard work, both companies successfully developed the life-saving drug. BioHeal Pharmaceuticals achieved the breakthrough first, but their financial struggles had taken a toll. Medicare Inc. followed shortly after, reaping the benefits of their diversified investments and a solid financial foundation. The story of Pharmaville's pharmaceutical companies illustrates the importance of considering the time value of money and making financial decisions. Both approaches had their merits, but finding the right balance between risk and reward was the key to their success in this competitive and ever-evolving industry.